In the early hours of June 14, 1846, a pivotal moment in American history was quietly unfolding in the small town of Sonoma, in what was then the Mexican territory of Alta California. To understand the audacity of this moment, we must look back at the tensions brewing between Mexico and the rapidly increasing American settlers in California. Dreams of expansion and the manifest destiny ideology were pushing Americans westward into lands Mexico controlled but could scarcely defend. Among these settlers was a group of about 30 rugged individuals fueled by a desire for land and independence. They were frontiersmen, adventurers, and, some might say, rebels with a cause. As dawn broke on that fateful day in June, these Americans, armed and determined, entered Sonoma. Their target was not just the town, but a symbolic strike at Mexican authority in the region. Leading the group was William B. I., a man who would soon declare himself the commander of the newly formed California Republic. But the anticipated battle for Sonoma did not unfold as one might expect. Instead of resistance, they were met with an unexpected hospitality. Colonel Mariano Vallejo, a key Mexican military leader and administrator of the region, understood the futility of bloodshed. Over brandy, Vallejo and the Americans discussed terms and Vallejo agreed to surrender, believing it might lead to a more peaceful transition. This moment of diplomacy over discord marked the beginning of a 25-day period where California declared itself an independent nation. The rebels quickly moved to solidify their claim. They raised a homemade flag featuring a single red star, a grizzly bear, and the words California Republic. This flag, now iconic, symbolized their determination and the birth of the California Republic. William B. Ide would pen a proclamation justifying the revolt, outlining the new republic's ideals and inviting others to join their cause. Yet, the California Republic would be short-lived. The Bear Flag Revolt, as it came to be known, caught the attention of the U.S. military. Just 25 days after its inception, the California Republic would fold into a larger conflict, the Mexican-American War. The U.S. forces, led by Captain John C. Fremont, arrived to claim California for the United States, absorbing the rebel forces into their ranks. The aspirations of the California Republic, although brief, played a pivotal role in the U.S. acquisition of California, shaping the state's identity and legacy to this day.